Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is my Deadpool 3 video, Hugh Jackman talking about the plot during the movie. I'm sure Kevin Feige, the Marvel snipers, are totally after him now. But he revealed a bunch more about the actual plot, so we'll break it all down. There's a bunch of Easter eggs and it explains how they're involving the Loki series and a lot of those characters, the TVA just in general. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a bunch of big stuff coming up like Loki Season 2. I just did a new trailer video for the footage they released for that. In Deadpool 3, just in general, going to be a huge crossover with the events of the Loki series. Although Loki Season 2 will premiere a long time before Deadpool 3 comes out. So the events of Deadpool 3 will take place well after the events of Loki Season 2. But here's Hugh Jackman talking about how this crosses over with some of the things during the Loki series. Because, you know, it's science. <laughs> and <laughs> and so I don't have to screw with the Logan timeline, which was important to me and I think probably to the fans too. All because of this device they have in the Marvel world of moving around timelines, now we can go back. As you can tell, he's explained the plot of the movie. He's sensing Kevin Feige, the Marvel snipers, have their guns trained on him. Like, oh, this is how Wolverine is going to die his final death. Kevin Feige is going to be the person to take care of him. And it's because he gave away the plot of Deadpool 3. Doing his very best to join the spoiler bros. But the clip actually does a pretty good job of explaining what they're actually doing during the movie. Like, we already knew it was going to be a big Loki series crossover with the TVA, Miss Minutes, the Mobius character. Hopefully, Deadpool will help him get that jet ski. And even though they were being very tongue-in-cheek and jokey about the way they were revealing things in that earlier trailer, they still tried to explain some of the plot. But there's still been a big question about some of the details. Like, they're not completely throwing out any of the pre-existing canon from the earlier Fox Marvel movies. And obviously, this is going to be a younger version of Wolverine than we saw during the Logan movie. Even the events of the Wolverine origin movie are still canon to Wolverine's timeline of the X-Men movies. But they're using Deadpool 2's post credit scene and him messing around with Cable's time travel device and saying that when he did that, like when he kills the other version of himself, the other Deadpool from Wolverine Origins, he starts creating a bunch of Nexus events. And also what they're doing is saying that some of those movies, but not all of them, but a few of them, took place in alternate timelines. For example, the events of Wolverine Origins is a Deadpool variant of the main version. Like, the main version is the one that we see in Deadpool and Deadpool 2. And during all those post credit scenes, he's just jumping around in the timeline of the Fox Marvel movies, messing around with history, creating Nexus events. Like, him killing a version of himself earlier in his timeline is meant to be another timeline. It's meant to be another variant of himself. But the whole idea is that he's killing a version of himself before that Ryan Reynolds had a chance to make the first Deadpool movie, erasing Deadpool's future existence, creating a huge Nexus event, which would put him on the TVA shit list. Another good example of that is him messing with baby Hitler in that last post credit scene. Like, that would create a huge Nexus event. And if it wasn't clear, during Deadpool 2, they canonized that version of Deadpool as the main version as canon to the main X-Men movies, the first class movies, and during X-Men Days of Future Past, they canonized the first class movies to the original X-Men movies, saying that it was all part of the same timeline. But when we start talking about the Logan movie, even though that's meant to be the distant future, like a very post-apocalyptic version of the future of Wolverine's timeline, the X-Men movies, technically that is meant to take place in yet another timeline. So that's why Hugh Jackman in that clip says, oh, we have this device. It's basically like a TVA time pad level device where they can jump around different timelines, avoiding the Logan timeline, like specifically the Logan movie that he calls out because they are messing with the timeline of the main X-Men movies a bunch. Like he literally says, going back in time. That's him explaining being the younger version of Wolverine during the events of the movie. And basically, as I've said before, Deadpool 3 is supposed to be a version of Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, but they're doing it more like Deadpool destroys the Fox Marvel Universe. I don't think they would actually be legit enough to put kill in a movie title like Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe would be the greatest movie title of all. But they'll probably swerve on that just a little bit like Deadpool destroys the Marvel Universe or something similar to that. And because he's mostly destroying the Fox Marvel movies, like that's part of the big joke, like messing with the Fox Marvel timelines. They're supposed to have a bunch of funny cameos from across all the Fox Marvel movies, like anything that was made under Fox's watch, not just the main X-Men movies, like the original Fantastic Four movies. There's even been talk of Chris Evans doing a very short cameo as his original Johnny Storm character. He's already joked about actually being game to do something like that, like that would actually be pretty cool. There have even been rumors about them doing a version of Galactopool. I don't know if they'll wind up eventually doing that because you'd have to explain who Galactus is to explain who Galactopool is. If you haven't read of those comics, he's just from an alternate universe version of the evil Deadpool core, and he just shows up being a version of Galactus looking like Deadpool. They don't fully explain his backstory. 
But you can see how Deadpool messing with the TVA time pad device, jumping around the timeline, messing with things, creating a bunch of Nexus events, leading to complete chaos in all the timelines would lead to something like Galactopole. Like they'll just say, oh, Deadpool messed things up so badly that it led to something like a version of Galactus who is Deadpool. You also have to remember that the movie's not going to come out for a couple years, so we might have seen a teaser for an actual version of Galactus before that. I just did a Thor Love and Thunder video about a deleted scene where they had a version of Thor fighting a version of Galactus inside the main MCU timeline. So they've already had a lot of conversations about trying to work Galactus into Marvel movies before. But the main way they're pulling all these cameos off, as Hugh Jackman says, is that either Cable's time travel device is already based on TVA time pad technology, those devices that Kang created that manipulate quantum energy, allowing the TVA agents to open portals across time and space. Or when the TVA arrests Deadpool and Wolverine and hauls them into the TVA, he just steals a time pad device off of one of them the way that Loki stole a time pad device. And then they start jumping around the Fox Marvel timelines and that's how they have all these other characters from those movies show up in cameos. The one thing we don't totally know yet is why Deadpool continues to do that. Like how does Wolverine become part of this plot? Like why is Deadpool continuing to mess with all these different timelines? We know why he started to do that during Deadpool 2 in the post credit scene he wanted to save Vanessa's life. That was the whole point. The rest of the post credit scenes were him just cleaning up some of his quote unquote messes in the past. Hugh Jackman also posted another clip where he revealed even more, I'm sure Kevin Feige got even more upset about this, where he talks more about the actual plot in a clearer way. But if I'm honest, 20 minutes into the Deadpool movie, all I kept seeing was 48 Hours, the Nick Nolte, Eddie Murphy movie. And I was like, damn it. Damn it. What have I done? What have I done? No, you said no, that's it, it's done, okay. When he compares the plot of Deadpool 3 to the 48 Hours movie, that's an Eddie Murphy, Nick Nolte, buddy cop movie where they're basically like two cops that team up to chase down and arrest a couple criminals. Because it was an Eddie Murphy movie, it was very comedic, like the Deadpool movies are very comedic in tone. So it's basically Hugh Jackman calling Deadpool 3 a buddy cop movie, but it's Wolverine and Deadpool teaming up to take down some people. They haven't fully revealed who the actual villains of the movie are supposed to be, but during the Deadpool 3 trailer video Ryan Reynolds released a while ago, they did have a jokey moment where they kind of reveal the plot of the movie, but they had that funny George Michael voiceover. That's actually been decoded since then. This is what they're actually saying during that part of the clip. So basically what they're saying is that Deadpool winds up finding a version of Wolverine when he jumps back in the timeline, they fight each other, and because they both have a healing factor, it's sort of like the immovable object meets the unstoppable force, and they just hack each other to pieces for a little while, and it turns into this funny thing until eventually they just get tired of laying into each other, and then eventually team up to take down some bigger criminals. So at least the beginning of the movie, it's Deadpool versus Wolverine, or Wolverine versus Deadpool, however you want to think about it, but then ultimately them teaming up to face a larger villain, and them having to jump across the timeline to chase them down. Based on some of the casting announcements, there's a rumor that Danger from the X-Men comics is going to be the villain, or one of the villains, because Zoom and Enhance, she was actually the main villain of that Deadpool comic book that Ryan Reynolds was reading on the can in the Deadpool costume during the trailer that he released. Danger is basically like the anthropomorphized version of the training facility, the Danger Room, just given physical form, eventually gaining a level of sentience and turning into a villain. That doesn't really explain what she's doing in the movie that would cause Deadpool to try and chase her across the timeline, across the Fox Marvel movie timeline to try and stop her. But it sounds like it's one of those situations where Deadpool is trying to be the good guy, but in doing so, he's jumping around the timeline, creating a bunch of Nexus events, trying to chase this person in the TVA, like Mobius, Miss Minutes, are all chasing Deadpool down, trying to stop him from continuing to create Nexus events. I am sure Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds will continue to release videos talking about the movie. They'll be filming for a lot of next year, so we'll get a bunch more details. We'll actually see some footage from the set really soon. Everybody who's making the movie, Kevin Feige, Bob Iger, CEO of Disney, again now, the director, Ryan Reynolds himself, Hugh Jackman, have all promised that the movie will still be rated R, it'll still be in the tone of what you would expect from a Deadpool movie, even though it will be part of the Marvel Universe, and that's because of the involvement, the crossover with the TVA, the Loki characters. I'm not expecting any kind of Deadpool cameo scene during Loki Season 2, though. Like I said, Loki Season 2 episodes happening really soon, Deadpool 3 not happening for a couple years. So I don't know if Loki himself or a version of Loki or one of his variants will show up in Deadpool 3. Like Deadpool and Wolverine get hauled into the TVA, get arrested by them, and you see a version of Loki walking around in the background. 
Everyone click here for that new Loki season two trailer video that just released and click here for my full Loki trailer video from earlier this year. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.